your t shirt. It's upside down. Is my bike okay? <laughs> <laughs> he is upside down. I think he's just got it on upside down. He will. He'll let me. When's the minute silence, did you say? They're in it. Oh. Apparently brought to you by Toby's banter. <laughs> minute of banter. That's a fat grey cat you've got on there. Like that? Yeah. The what? Poor fat grey cat. Who won it? Or who? Not over yet. Not over. Welcome to the uh, media conference for round three of the 2019 New Zealand Super Sport Championship here at Hampton Downs <coughs> um, and coming to you from the Mike Perro Motor Fest over the uh, weekend. Round three is hosted by the Auckland Motorcycle Club and brought to you by our generous sponsors DHL Express, Suzuki, Yamaha, <coughs> IG, ICG Print, Carl Cox <coughs> Motorsport and Motorcycling New Zealand, supported from Pirelli, Honda Cars, Resine Automotive and Light Industrial, Paints, Bike Rider Magazine, MX timing, MX and track timing, that's Nicole Boll, and along with a host of smaller smaller sponsors. And on the panel we have the top five in the championship at the moment, starting with uh, Toby Summers, there in the middle there with 75 points, Avalon Biddle at the end here with 66 and only one point behind that, Seth Devereaux with 65, Ashton Hughes 54, Dale Finch 44, so it's all no, we're all pretty close there at the, at the top. Now, before we get into finding out what you guys are going to do or did over the over the break, we're going to ask Seth to do something. Oh, gross. <laughs> Seth, if all your panellists yep. were superheroes... Yep. Write it down. We're giving you some paper just in case. We're yep. super. We're superheroes. <laughs> what would they be, and why? So that gives you. And of course, you must include yourself in this. Okay. I'm not very good at superheroes. Oh. Um, You've got time. Do I have to go now, or can I do it? Can I think and then give you the answer later? Yeah, yeah. Give the answer later. Beauty. Yeah, yeah. That's what like we. That's why I gave it to you then. And um, let's have a look here. And that's from uh, Dave from the Hawks Bay, actually. Uh, Sent that question in. He's a top bloke, Dave. <laughs> we'll start with Toby. Toby, um, leading the championship, coming here to Hampton Downs. Obviously, a local track for you. Um, you're quietly confident around here. Um, I, it's not my favourite track. I, I I don't go bad around the track. I I kind of enjoy it. I enjoyed today. Today was fun. Bikes working well. We've changed absolutely nothing from levels. Just get out there and ride it. It feels pretty good. Um, yeah, I feel confident. We'll see what happens in qualifying, and then obviously the important stuff is the race. So uh, that all starts tomorrow. So the gap between uh, levels, where you had a good good run there, of course, that's where you grabbed the lead. The gap between when you came home here and and here, what did you get up to apart from actually uh, building flying foxes and stuff at home? Um, well, as you mentioned, yeah, we've been. We had a flying fox in the garden about 10 years ago and it broke, so we've been re rebuilding that for the kids' uh, birthday. Um, that's been quite entertaining. We've had a few people around. We've got Gav around, the team manager, the other day. Kind of broke him a little bit. <laughs> he, he was loving that. Um, apart from that, been um, the work I do is quite quiet this time of year. So we've, and with the warm weather, we've been doing a lot of jet, jet skiing, wakeboarding, water skiing. You know, just down the river with the kids. Kids have been off school. My mum's over at the moment from the UK. Um, she flies back on on Tuesday, Wednesday. I also go go with her. My dad's not so well, so I've got to make a quick trip back to England. Fortunately, the next round is three weeks away, so I'll shoot back to the UK for for two weeks. I think ten days, whatever it is. Uh, the only small problem I've got at the moment, I'm still waiting on a passport. So uh, uh, <coughs> minor detail. Minor detail. That that turn up and um, yeah, just a quick trip back. Um, Go and see him and then come back for Manfield. Moving on now, we go to second in the championship now. We have Avalon Biddle. The, um, you must be pretty stoked <laughs> to be at this stage to come here and you're second and not very far behind the lead. How do you find Hampton Downs? Do you like the track? Do you, do you think that... Uh, well, you have actually won here, haven't you? You won the um, 125 TT, I think, here, didn't you? 
Yeah, I had some really good results in the past on the 125. Um, originally being from up here from Oriwa, um, it was my home track for, for a while, so I've been lucky to do a lot of laps around here. Um, like Toby said, it's, it's different. The full track is, is definitely better than the club circuit, um, but it's quite hard to get your head around. And yeah, it's enjoyable and then you make a mistake and it kind of like ruins your rhythm and it's really hard to regain just the, with the layout. So um, yeah, it's a challenging track, that's for sure. But this time last year was sort of the turning point in my season. Um, I never really seemed to fire right at the beginning of the season. And then we came here and I got a couple of seconds and was running really close to Jake, um, trying to sort of challenge him for the lead. So that was a, a really good result for me and sort of gave me a lot of confidence in this class in 600 Super Sport. And uh, yeah, this season I'm much, much closer to the lead in the championship than I've ever been at this stage. So yeah, really looking forward to the racing. And the break between Timaru and here, you've been <laughs> fairly busy, I think, haven't you? You've not with motorcycle <laughs> stuff necessarily. Um, but yeah, you've been all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it's always uh, very busy. I work in the motorsport industry marketing for a company, Link ECU, so we do a lot of motorsport events with that, and obviously it's uh, prime time for for that as well. So being very busy at work, and then a lot of events actually here this weekend is uh, Shiny Side Up, which is run by Ride Forever, ACC, and New Zealand Transport Agency. So I've been very fortunate to be part of that, uh, speaking about some rider techniques and um, women in motorsport and that sort of thing to a few of the public at those events. So that's been really great and it's good to have those guys here. And I think they've been brought Dave McKenna, the state stunt rider out for the weekend as well. So the spectators are in for a treat, not only racing, but some stunt stuff too. Cool. Seth, one point in it, you're in third spot. Well, six months ago, did you think you'd be in third or even be racing? I mean, I, I didn't think there was a way for me to come back to racing at a level that I would like to you know, maybe do it justice, I guess you would say. Um, and I've been very fortunate, you know. And it's at the moment I keep putting pressure on myself to deliver results, you know, especially because I'm starting to go well again. I've been kind of putting the heat on myself, but I have to... I'm consciously reminding myself just to step back and enjoy it because you know after I haven't been here for four or five years and after that amount of time off the bike at a competitive level, um, it's very easy to, to switch back into making it almost work. You're so focused on the result that you forget to be like, hey, man, we're in this beautiful part of the country, it's 30 degrees outside, all these awesome characters to hang out with and we don't have to go to work. I mean, what more could you ask for? And we get to ride a motorcycle, <laughs> hello. It's like yeah. all the winning you could have, so yeah, wrap. And you had a fantastic journey up, didn't you? What was the mileage? I can't oh, tell you, it's not over. Oh, it's For not those over. that don't know, I've got a big competition going on Instagram. Someone, whoever guesses most accurately the amount of kilometres between my house in Tapanui and here, one's one of these caps, which half these guys probably won't want, but someone will. <laughs> no, I actually put an entry in. Did you? Yeah, I put an entry in. Yeah, there's, 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 I haven't even been through them. There's I dozens and dozens. Yeah, I didn't expect yeah. to get such a wide catch. Yeah, I think I might be miles out now just going by what you actually said about those racing numbers yesterday. But anyway. <laughs> um, I'll get back to you about the superhero thing later on. We'll get in now. We'll get into fourth place. Ashton Hughes. Uh, I mean, you, you've done a fantastic season this season. What with the Suzuki series, then uh, going down south, you, you must be pretty pumped with the way things are going. Um, yeah, it's been really good so far. Um, I mean, coming into Hampton, I don't think anyone can really call it their home track, being that we're on the international circuit and no one gets to do a massive amount of laps around here, then it's kind of a bit of a level, I suppose. I mean, certainly um, Toby and Ab have proved last year that they're fast around here, of course. Um, I haven't seen Seth ride around here, but judging by how he was at um, levels, then he's going to be one to beat as well. Um, so I think I'm going to be battling out with Dale, I think. Um, and he sort of, with the MV that he's got, he seems to be able to put it on any kind of line that he wants. So I'm sort of going to have to think about how I'm going to hold him off because he made some pretty wicked passes on me at Timaru. <laughs> and, uh, on really good us. passes, yeah, <laughs> on everyone. Um, so yeah, riding defensively may not work, I don't know. <laughs> the uh, And what did you to get up to in between the uh, two rounds? Uh, I settled back into work a little bit. Um, I work in the Air Force fixing helicopters, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, took my hand up at painting, not like artwork, like painting bikes. Um, so I got a new set of bearings from a bike painted them up and they look immaculate and uh, there's a surefire way to make sure you crash the first time you go out <laughs> paint your bike up so it looks really good and so yeah sure enough I stacked it into turn one today and spent half the day fixing it <laughs> so it looks less special than what it did at the start of the day 
It's either a, a nice painted bike or new leathers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> new leathers. Moving on to uh, Dale. Dale, um, you must be, this is your second second year second in road season. racing, isn't it? Yep. Um, come, from, uh, come from your background in Speedway. Uh, you've made quite an inroad here this, this season. And as these guys are saying at Timaru, you were having a bit of a ball. How do you think you'll go here? Um, it's, it's my second time to this track. Uh, last year was the first time riding the MV. Um, so I was getting the hang of the bike plus getting the hang of the track. Um, I feel like I've got the hang of the bike now, so it's back here. And yeah, working on the track. Um, the MV, it, it likes to change direction on the gas lots where, where it helps. I feel like this track is a lot stop, go, you know, um, and you need to rely on the front a lot into the corners. Um, recently, I've had a few issues with the front end, um, <laughs> as you can see. So um, <laughs> today, just starting off, taking it easy. Um, by the last session, felt good. And in between Timaru and here, you went back to the old stomping ground at Moore Park in, uh, in Christchurch for the Memorial, Ronnie Moore Memorial Speedway. How did that all go? Yeah, it was a really good meeting. Um, it was a massive passion of mine. Um, solo riding and it, it is slowly dying in New Zealand um, and I, I felt like the sport needed someone that had been racing overseas and had a lot to do to sort of to, to change the way that they run the meetings um, so I did I, I managed to get quite a few riders there and we managed to put a solo bike only track on and um, it was very successful and only heard good things the, yeah the onward and upward and um, at the end of this uh, well, at the end of this weekend I wish you all the best of luck and we'll get back to this thing about the superhero. Uh, Seth, over to you. I've got some answers for you. Yeah. Um, so starting at the far end I've got Avalon and uh, if you guys have seen X-Men but there's a girl Mystique who changes personalities and faces and whatever <laughs> and I'm not, I'm just going to cut to the chase here, this is meant as a compliment. <laughs> Classic woman trait, take the uh, take the insult. But I was actually going for the fact that you do so many different things. You know, you do the ACC thing, you do racing here, you work for Link ECU, you study. Like, there's so many different facets of what you do, and you do all that stuff well. So it was meant as a compliment, Aww. but I mean, standard, jump to conclusion. Uh, maybe maybe that's, that's your fifth sweet. personality. Thank you. <laughs> um, then I've got Ashton as Iron Man, um, because he, at the moment, he's the Tony Stark of the pits. He's doing all himself and doing very well. Um, yeah. I know what it's like to be a privateer, to have to paint your own bike, build your own engines, do all that stuff, and um, he's doing a great job of that, as well as riding well. So for me, he was a Tony Stark. Toby is a, I mean, he's a dead ringer for Deadpool. It's just like one-liners and cheeky stuff. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> well, for those people out there, they'll, they'll know who that is. But yeah, he's a show, and he's even in the right colours. He can't help himself. So, um, And then Dale, I put him down as the Hulk, because he's so quiet and temperament, uh, like, um, quite natured and, and very gentle person to talk to and then he puts a visor down and it gets all kinds of ugly. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> for me that was, that was, I mean look at his hands, he's got the whole can and everything. <laughs> so, and yeah. I gave myself um, Donkey from Shrek because I'm just too busy <laughs> yapping and not really achieving anything useful. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that I have to do. Okay, before we go, we have one special question from Lainey from Bishopdale in Christchurch. And this is for Avalon. <laughs> Lainey asks, do you think your new addition at home is behaving himself? <laughs> and who gives the most cuddles, you or Jake? I hope that Lainey isn't our neighbour, because <laughs> 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 we've got a wee kid in and it's very mischievous, keeps climbing the fence and visiting the next door neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's doing very well. Uh, Jake's definitely the bigger cuddler than me. Um, I've thrown him across the room a few times, <laughs> being my temperamental <laughs> 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 But he's very cute and, um, yeah, um, it's quite enjoyable to go racing and to be able to come home to our own home in a week and um, makes a change from Europe where I was living out of a suitcase for many, many years. So, no loving having the wee ginger ninja there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the Laney is feeding him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We hope it's not sold. We left him with Jack's stepbrother who advertised him on Instagram for four hundred dollars. So. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> hope he's still well, that's there. It. All, that's it. The end of the media conference here at Hampton Downs and thank you for turning up.
and being good sports. <laughs> good job, <laughs> I love that you went.